Hey folks, welcome to Fish in the Midwest. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Mike Frisch. Today, we're at one of my favorite fishing destinations. We're at Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota-South Dakota border. We're gonna start with some open water, multi-species action for largemouth bass and big bluegills. Come along. So we got out to our first spot, and as you can see, it's really blowing. Our plan is to try to target some largemouth bass, but the, this big blow is making it a little bit difficult. But we are getting an occasional bite, and when we do, it's a big one. You got him, Tanner? Yeah, that looks like a pretty good one. That looks like a pretty good one. Oh, oh that's a good one. Man, that thing came out of the water to eat that frog, didn't he? Yeah, Just swing him here and I'll help you. He is cutting it up. You don't want to give up, does he, Mike? Nope. There you go. Good job, Tanner. Thanks, Mike. You got him? Yeah. That's fun catching one on that top water. Like it that, is, isn't it? it? That's a good time. Absolutely ate that one up. Well, yep. that's a nice big stone largemouth. And not that many years ago, we wouldn't really talk about largemouth and big stone, would we? No, it, it really taken off here in the past couple years. And the size of these fish has really just absolutely went off the charts. Well, the last couple of years, we've really seen the population numbers just explode out here. Um, and not only the numbers, but with the numbers has come the size. Um, you're seeing three to six pound, even up to seven pound largemouth. Um, but like I said, there's tons of numbers. It's a lot of fun. Uh, good for the family, good for your avid anglers. It, it covers the whole spectrum of anglers. Today, Tanner and I are catching these bass on a variety of baits, including topwater frogs, hack attack jigs tipped with rage trailers, and Texas rig KVD perfect plastics. Striking has a bait for any bass fishing situation you'll encounter wherever you fish across the Midwest. Yeehaw! Fish. God, that one came up and hit her right next to the boat. Come here. She doesn't want to come in the boat. There he is. Not a bad large mouth. Hanging out right on the back side of one of them rocks. We talked a little bit about the fact that this big stone largemouth bass population is exploding, it's expanding. And one thing that I find a little bit unique from a lot of the waters I fish in central Minnesota, most of my waters have weeds. Not a ton of rocks out with the weeds. Here it seems like weeds, but the big rocks within the weeds are kind of the key spot, aren't they? Yeah, it seems like these bass really like the backside of them big boulders. And like you said, it, they're mixed in with all the weeds. And when you can pick out those big rocks, you can pick individual targets, and you got a pretty high percentage when you find them big rocks to get nice bass like these. So my motto is always, find the weeds, find the bass. On Big Stone, find the weeds, find the big rock, then find the bass. Oh, well, that's a good one there. There's a good one, Tanner. Yep. That one actually hit it when I was walking it. The last couple have hit it when, it, when you do more of the stop. Yep. That one was going right across the surface and just smashed it. Rocks up there again, aren't there? You bet, yeah, the nice rock line up there that fish is on. Yeah, another solid two, three pounder. Real nice fish. A lot of fun to fish that way too, Mike. Absolutely, there's not much better than a topwater bite. Yeah, I'd say that's a two and a halfer. Big Stone's got a fish of every species. Wow. Yeah, hopefully we can get a few more just like that one there, Mike. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Northland Fishing Tackle, made by fishermen for fishermen. Hanay's Marine, there are 10,000 lakes in Minnesota, but only one Hanay's Marine. Ray Marine, Marine Electronics. Ray Marine, simply superior. Larson FX, the multi-species, multi-use boat that's ready for whatever you are. Big Stone Lake Tourism, the Midwest's new winter hotspot. Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota-South Dakota border has a booming jumbo perch population that has turned into one of the Midwest's top winter perch fishing destinations. Come for the perch, but don't forget the lake's numerous walleyes, big bluegills, and slab crappies. 
In addition to the fishing, the area offers a top bait shop, fish house rentals, great lodging, and fine dining as well. Come to Big Stone for a winter fishing trip, and you'll like the area so much that you might just decide to make it your next home, or at least your home away from home. Forget everything you know about sonar. Now there's an easier way to find fish. Real Vision 3D Sonar from Ray Marine eliminates the guesswork. And it's only available on Axiom, our new blazing fast navigation display. Explore the underwater world from every angle. Spend less time fishing and more time catching. Real Vision 3D from Ray Marine, simply superior. You know, guys, I hate to admit it, but before every tournament, I have to tie one on. And I really hate to admit this, but before the Bassmaster Classic, I really have to tie one on. And if you do what I did and tie one on from Strike King, maybe you'll get what I got, a classic hangover. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up. Move, change, switch presentations, switch species. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-use platform with tiller and dual console models to accommodate the gear you need for all kinds of fish on all kinds of water. With room for your fishing arsenal and a full day of action, Larson FX is a switch it up machine. Ready for anything and everything, including the kids. Larson FX, ready for whatever you are. Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. Hannay's Marine is the largest Larson FX dealer in the world and has a huge selection of boats and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced experts will help you select from top fishing boat manufacturers, including Larson, G3, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Suncatcher and Larson Escape. Now's the time to take advantage of manufacturer rebates of over $1,000 on select models and great financing rates. Your boat, your treasure, our business. Hannay's Marine, keeping you on the water. A little bit of a front has made fishing difficult, but we took a little break and we headed into Ortonville. We caught up with Greg Peterson and Greg tells us a little bit about what Ortonville and Big Stone Lake in the entire area has to offer in addition to the fishing. Yes, you know, the lake is great for fishing, but you'll also see uh, the jet skis, the water skiers out there, wakeboarders, uh, and just pleasure boaters. The number of pontoons on this lake has just exploded. Around the area, we've got a, a bowling alley, we've got a, a beautiful 18-hole golf course, which is owned by the city of Lortonville, and there is a 3D archery range with uh, targets right next to that. There's a rifle range up the road. Uh, we've got this beautiful museum here. This is just one of the exhibits in the museum. We've got uh, two motels, the Valley View and the O'Connor Lodge are here uh, for the person that wants a motel room. We've got two big RV parks which have seasonal spots, probably 80 to 90 seasonal spots between the two of them. And they also have some overnights and weekly too. If you bring your camper in, you can keep those there. So late afternoon, we got back out on the water. The wind is starting to die down and now it's time to get after those big bluegills. And Tanner tells us what we're looking for in terms of locating these bluegills. The areas today we're targeting, um, a lot of the scattered rock, um, along the edge of the weeds really was producing for us today. Um, normally this time of year, you're fishing the, those, when they're up, up in their beds. Um, and we, we checked out some of the beds today and there was a few fish on beds, but we ended up finding out that a lot of the scattered rock, there were some isolated fish, and that was the best for us producing those bigger bluegills today. Tanner, we have a fish rod. Oh, that's a pretty good gill right there. So pretty that. one. Look at that one. So, Big Stone's got a walleye fishery, right, that yellow, that's known across the Midwest, one of the top walleye tournament destinations, has been for a lot of years. The perch fishing, particularly in the winter, has gained all kinds of popularity recently and now Tanner just in what the last three four years 
big bluegills, crappies, largemouth bass. That's a pretty good gill wherever you're at. Yeah, there's all sorts of them that size, that eight and a half to even 10 and a half, 11 inch bluegills out here. They're real nice fish. Tanner and I caught our bluegills on firefly jigs and the new Mimic Minnow Tough Tubes. The new Tough Tubes come in lots of sizes and colors, and we found the smallest size ones to be deadly on big bluegills and crappies last summer. Now we're starting to catch the bluegills, and we found some giants. You don't find bluegills of this size very many places across the Midwest, but like with a lot of other species, the walleyes, the perch, the crappies, the bluegills, they're big in this lake as well. You got there, Tanner. Well, looks like a pretty nice gill there, Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. That. That's what we're looking for. That there. is a big dog. Big that's, stone that's lake. A big stone bluegill right there. Tanner, this is a big dog here, too. Look at that one. <laughs> look, look at that. Look at the gill on that thing. Yep. Look at that bluegill. I'll tell you, there are not very many places want to get that hook out. There are not very many places across the Midwest, at least that I know of, where you can come and catch bluegills like that. You know, some places you'll catch one, maybe two in a day, but when it's on here, you can catch multiple fish of that size range, can't you, can Yeah, when you get on them this time of year in the spring, you can really get a lot of quality fish just like that one in pretty short order. Once you find them, there's usually a lot of them, and it's a lot of fun. The other thing, Tanner, about panfish is, I was gonna say, even the little ones pull like they're four pounds, but when they cover your hand, that's not really little. <laughs> so Tanner, these fish are not just a spring deal though. Guys are coming out here to catch them now through the ice too, right? Yeah, the ice bites certain times of year can get really good out here. So sometimes you can even get them mixed in with the perch and that's a lot of fun. And not only that, perch, bluegills, and some of those crappies too. Wow, Big Stone's got, it's kind of a panfish mecca right now. Let's take a quick break and learn more about the new model Larson FX 2020 boat we are fishing from the day. Hey folks, Mike Frisch of Fish in the Midwest here. I'm going to take you quickly through the boat that I've been running this year. This is the all new, newly designed Larson FX 2020 DC. It also comes in a tiller model, but this is the dual console. This is a big boat, well over 20 feet long, very wide. This is a wide, very, very stable platform. Handles rough water very well, quick up on plane, fast haul. This boat, in terms of performance, has it all but it's got a ton of features for the fisherman and the family man as well. Starting with the live wells. It's got big live wells, dual live wells, one that goes all the way across the back and then another one up in the front. So you can keep minnows up front or if you've got a great catch on a particular day and you want to use the back of the live well and the front live well, you've got all the live well space that you need. In addition to that, jump seats. I actually can run six people comfortably in this boat using the back two seats, the jump seats, and then the passenger and the captain's chairs as well. So six people can ride comfortably in this boat. It's got a ton of storage. It's got an innovative tackle storage in the back of the boat. These fold out tackle storage allows me to keep tackle on both sides of the boat. So there's a ton of space for storage of your tackle and there's also a drop-in tackle storage up in the bow as well. You can stow a bunch of tackle. Rod lockers down one side, a storage along the other side, a spacious bow rod locker, and then of course dry storage up front for life vests, um, planer boards, all your gear. This boat has all the storage you need. In addition, you can get it with bow cushions, you can get it with a ski pylon, so it's a multi-purpose, dual-purpose fishing and family boat. Hey, the Larson FX 2020, my choice in fishing and family pleasure boats. What's that one like, Tanner? Oh yeah, look at that one. Whew. 
doubled up. Mine's not as nice as yours, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I might have. Cow, they are fat. But look at the belly on that thing. Yep. There's all kinds of healthy fish in Big Stone Lake. It doesn't seem like it matters whether it's largemouth bass, walleyes, crappies. Look at that. That thing is just thick. Largemouth bass, crappies, walleyes, Big Stone. Grows them. Grows them good. So late in the day after we had caught a bunch of the big bluegills, we decided to get back on those bass. And we found some big bass again right before we quit. Told you. Told you on that point right there, Tanner. Oh, that's a nice one, that's too. That's a nice one. Man, oh, man. I do like Big Stone Lake, you know. God, that one ate it, too, Tanner. This lake, we come to in the winter for fantastic perch fishing. In the spring, some of the best walleye action in the Midwest. You get into summer, largemouth bass, crappies, bluegills, big stone. Well, quite simply, got a little bit of everything. Or Tanner, maybe it's got a lot of everything. When we come back, Tanner and I will be on the ice chasing big stones perch. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by Strike King. Tie one on. Vexilar, own the ice. Core Ice, built for life the way you live it. Beckman Nets, beautiful Cabotogama Lake, gateway to Voyagers National Park. Lake Cabotogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends. And Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogama Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up. Move, change, switch presentations, switch species. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-use platform with tiller and dual console models to accommodate the gear you need for all kinds of fish on all kinds of water. With room for your fishing arsenal and a full day of action, Larson FX is a switch it up machine, ready for anything and everything, including the kids. Larson FX, ready for whatever you are. Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. Proving yet again that the best never rest, Otter introduces Otter Thermaltech, the proprietary full thermal shell found on every 2015 Otter shelter. Beginning with the all-new XDH hub shelters and the all-new lightweight one-man XD hideout, on up to the ever-popular XD and XD Pro Series shelters that have earned a near-legendary reputation for unmatched toughness and durability. At Otter, we know stopping at good enough is way overrated. This ice season, see for yourself how the best just keep getting better. Distinctive cabinet design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Serving the homeowner on up through the general contractor, there's no job too small or too large. Whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more, Distinctive Cabinet Design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. The ice fishing on Big Stone for bluegills can be top notch, but so can the perch action. Check this out. What do you think, Tara? Not huge, but you know what? It's still a good time. My favorite kind of fish is one that'll pull back. <laughs> <laughs> the spot we elected to start on had yielded good catches of nice perch the day before. Today, however, only a couple of small fish were active, so it was time to move. Today, we are using the new Cadrial Ice Auger. This innovative auger utilizes a cordless electric drill for power, so it's reliable, lightweight, and as you can see, cuts holes quickly. This spot has some fish and some nicer ones. A reward for our staying on the move. There we go. So Tanner, 
when you're guiding for these perch in the winter, and we're out in the basin in this particular body of water, how important is it to stay on the move to try to find these perch? Well, it's very important. Like you say, you're out in the basin, so there's not a lot of structure that's holding them into one area. So, you know, these schools can move yep. in 15 minutes. Sure. So, they're roaming, so you kind of got to roam to stay with them. Yep. All right, well, maybe we found some. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That is a good one. Staying on the move. I get it. I get it. Certainly. And you know the other thing? It helps. There's a better one. That's a nice fish there. Yep. The other thing that helps is, you know, using your sonar. Because, I mean, if I'm not seeing them in a few minutes, I move. How about you? Yeah, it's just, you know, you don't give spot too long without seeing fish. Just because, like you say, when these fish are schooled up, you know they're there. Yep. So, it looks like we got ourselves a school here. Yep. Should we keep a few for dinner, Tanner? I think we'll let you keep yours, and mine might go back in the drink. All right. The perch are starting to bite. When we come back, we'll have more of this action. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Evinroot, the outboards that are changing everything. Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. P-Line, because we fish. Otter Outdoors, tougher, stronger, smarter. K-Drill Ice Augers, drilling ice will never be the same. Distinctive cabinet design for all your commercial, residential, and retail fixture cabinetry needs. Still ice fishing with the old heavy gas augers. Tired of having to wash your hands because they smell like gasoline or sweating too much while you're cranking on the old hand auger? Check out this revolutionary product. It's called the K-Drill and it's lightweight. It's only nine pounds and it's specifically designed for your cordless brushless drill. It's got a heavy duty aluminum shaft and a tool steel design blade that's gonna change the way you ice fish. Hole hop around or reopen some old holes. Check out icefishingtoday.com. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evinrude E-Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best-in-class torque of the Evinrude E-Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit Evinrude.com. P-Line, premium fishing lines for all fish species during all seasons. High performance copolymers built to handle a wide range of fishing situations. Fluorocarbon coated lines that are sensitive and invisible like a fluorocarbon, yet with the manageability of mono. Super strong Teflon coated braids for ultra long casts and extreme sensitivity. And premium fluorocarbons, including the all new award winning Tactical. P-Line, a line for all fish species during all seasons. Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota-South Dakota border has a booming jumbo perch population that has turned into one of the Midwest's top winter perch fishing destinations. Come for the perch, but don't forget the lake's numerous walleyes, big bluegills, and slab crappies. In addition to the fishing, the area offers a top bait shop, fish house rentals, great lodging, and fine dining as well. Come to Big Stone for a winter fishing trip, and you'll like the area so much that you might just decide to make it your next home, or at least your home away from home. We know staying on the move is important. Tanner shared his thoughts on how long he likes to stay in an area. You know, Tanner, we talked about moving because these fish roam. You know, they, they'll kind of stay in the same area, but roam around in that area. How long do you typically give an area or a hole, I guess, 
until you move into that that next spot. Well, um, you know, when these fish are roaming the basin like this, um, you know, you can drill a hole and sometimes get close to them. Give them five, ten, you know, maybe even fifteen minutes tops. But then you get moving on to the next hole and you get closer to that school. Today, Tanner and I are using a combination of baits, a buckshot flutter spoon and smaller tungsten jigs. Here are Tanner's thoughts on using these baits together. Well, with you having the spoon on there, you know, spoons definitely bring fish into an area. It attracts them. Um, and you'll catch, you know, the aggressive fish on that bigger spoon. But when you got some finicky fish that are in the school, um, you can pick some of them out with the tungsten compared to the spoon that they're probably not going to bite. Tanner and I both use Vexlar sonar units for our winter fishing. Here's why. Oh, you got a nice one there, Mike. You tell me, is that a cleaner? Yeah. All right. You know, when I guide in the summer, I mean, I'm constantly on the move looking for active fish for my clients. And I know that's part of the secret or one of the keys to your success as a winter guide. What is a, a winter guide or anybody who wants to be more successful staying active, moving to find fish, you know, what are some things that help you do that? Well, just having a winter sonar unit uh, with you when you're mo moving through all these holes, you, so that way you know, you know, even if it's a light bite or if they're not biting at all, but you at least know that there's fish there. Right. Just knowing fish in the area gives you confidence, and I think that's a big part of it too. And, and, and you're spot on. I mean, I know in, in the summer when I guide, when I can see fish on my screen and show them to my clients, I mean, that gives them more confidence, gives me more confidence, and you know, that's a big part of it. Like right here, I'm getting a little more confident right now. <laughs> this new spot is really starting to pay off. Tanner and I are putting together a nice catch for a fish fry, <laughs> one of the tasty rewards yeah. of a winter day spent chasing Big Stone's perch. Sniffed around a little bit, decided to eat it. Get this guy back. There you go, Tanner. Staying on the move led to today's nice catch, and the otter portable fish houses we use make moving from spot to spot really slick. They tow easily, set up quickly, and are super warm once our fishing spot is found. These fish just kept on biting. What a fun day. The big stone perch are biting right now, and Tanner Arndt is available to guide you. Or you can rent one of the fish houses he and his dad, Artie, have available now too. Well, folks, as you can see, Big Stone Lake has fish of all species, all sizes. It's a great place to be, not just in the summer, but it's a winter fishing destination as well. Hey, come to Big Stone in the summer, pretty sure you'll be back in the winter. One of my favorite destinations, Big Stone Lake. For more fishy information, be sure to visit us at our website, our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Plus, visit our Facebook page to learn how to sign up for the all new Fishing the Midwest newsletter. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again next time. And as always, remember to include a youngster in your next outdoors adventure.